Hi dear friend, welcome back to my channel TechPidda. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a TP-Link router as a Wi-Fi extender. If you have a big flood and your main router is struggling to provide Wi-Fi signal all over the flood, then you can use a normal TP-Link router for extend the Wi-Fi range. Okay. So if you really want to learn how to extend Wi-Fi range with a simple router, then keep watching this video till the end. And also at the end of this video, I will share some tips on how you can use extended Wi-Fi without any problem. So let's get start the video. Here as you can see there is a router. This is TP-Link WR840N, a single band normal router. And it's working as an extender properly than any other router. Cause I tried in some router in extender mode, but those are not working properly. And I think TP-Link is the best router for use as a Wi-Fi range extender. So now let's jump to the full process. First of all, power on your router. After turn on your router, now you have to reset this router, okay? In your router's backside, you will find here a WPS or reset button. You need to hold on this button for 10 seconds until the router LED light is blinking. As you can see, my router is reset. Now let's move to the phone screen. Go to the Wi-Fi option. Here you will find your TP-Link router signal. So you have to just connect this router. If I try to connect it, you can see it's asking for the password. Where you can find this password? Let me show you. You have to check this password on the router's bottom side. As you can see, here is my router's default password. So type this password and connect it. Now here on the right side, click on this arrow option. After that, scroll down and click on the IP settings. Then here choose the static option. Then copy this gateway address from here. And after copy it, just get back and open your Chrome browser. And here in the search bar, paste this gateway address. After that, you will see here your router model name. Just tap on it. Then you will find a page like this. Now you have to create a login password for your router admin panel. So I'm gonna type here a password. And make sure this password is mixed with letter and number. Okay. Type this password twice. Then tap on start. After login, you will see a starting page like this. Here, just click on next. Then you have to choose here router's mode. As we want to extend the Wi-Fi range, we have to choose the range extender mode. So from here choose the range extender. After that click on next. Now here you will find your main router signal. You can see here is your signal strength, channel, all the things. So here just swipe to the right side and you will find here connect option. Just tap on it. Now type here your main router password. After that you can see here there are two options. One is copy from root API and another one is customize option. So here if you select the first option, then it will increase your existing signal with one SSID, which is already provided by the main router. And in the customize option, you can create a separate signal with the same password. So I'm going to choose this second one. Here I'm going to type a new SID name for my extender. Then click on next. Here click on LAN type and choose static IP. After that, disable this DHCP server. Okay. Then click on next. After that, click on finish. That's it. Now your work is done. Now open your Wi Fi option. Here you can see I have got a new signal, and here I got full signal from the extender router. Okay. So I'm going to connect it. This extender router password is same as your main router. So type it here, then connect it. As you can see, it's connected. Now let me check my Wi Fi network speed. I'm gonna open my YouTube. As you can see, it's working properly without any problem. It will work better than your previous speed, but still there are some problems you could be face. Like after a long time uses, you can be face some lagging issue on the network. So to avoid this type of problem, now I'll share here two solutions. First one is that where you want to set up your router, make sure you have getting here two bar of signal and turn off your router at least one time in a day. And the second solution is use an Ethernet cable with LAN to LAN connection. I already made a video on that topic. If you are interested, you can watch it. In the LAN to LAN connection method, you will not face hang issue. And also you can create a separate password for your secondary router. So friend, if you still have any queries, let me know in the comment. I will try my best to help you. If you think this video is helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also hit the like button of this video. Thanks for watching this video.